Thanks to your guys' suggestions, I wrecked myself last night watching a silent voice, and one thing that stood out the most to me was the shiso juice. Other than Kool-Aid, where do you get this color? Shiso juice is relatively easy to make, and the main ingredient is going to be this shiso leaf. Try to find the leaves that are red in color. Mine had some green mixed in, but it's gonna be totally fine. Make sure you do give these a nice rinse and then drain them completely, making sure that the leaves are relatively clean. Peel all of the leaves off of the stems, making sure you discard the stems and just keep those beautiful leaves. Now in a large pot, we're gonna fill this with around 30 ounces worth of clean filtered water. After filling it with water, bring it over to the stove and bring the water to a boil. Once it's at a boil, Drop all of your leaves in, making sure they're fully submerged into that water so none of it sits on top of the water. After you've submerged them, turn the heat off and let them steep for around 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, drain out all of your liquid, and once it's drained, make sure you do press all of those leaves in your colander. If you don't press them, you're actually going to lose a lot of liquid in those leaves, so make sure you do press this and don't skip this step. After draining and pressing the leaves, strain them one more time through a fine mesh strainer back into your pot. This is when we're going to add 30 to 40 grams worth of sugar. Now the sweetness is totally up to you. You can make your sweeter or less sweet, but you do want just a touch of sweet. Once this comes up to a simmer and all that sugar has dissolved, turn it off and then we're going to add 30 milliliters worth of apple cider vinegar to this. Once you add that apple cider vinegar, it is going to change into that beautiful purple color. Without that acidic content, it won't change color, so keep that in mind. Now to cool this thing down, I'm just using a really large mason jar, but you can cool this down in whatever you want. I figured in the mason jar, it's going to look really pretty, even if I am spilling quite a bit of it on my cutting board. Now after getting all of it in your container of choice, let this thing cool down completely before you try to actually make your drink out of it. While it's cooling down, clean up your workspace because you're a monster. And now we have our beautiful shiso juice base. Now since this is the base, we're going to grab a second cup and fill it with ice. After grabbing a cup of ice, very carefully pour some of this into your glass, only about halfway up, and then top it off with some water. And it's easy as that, we have our beautiful shiso juice from a silent voice. And there it is guys, the shiso juice from silent voice. That movie, man, it's so good. Please go watch it if you haven't. And this is the first time I've made shiso juice, and I will admit it is very similar to that pea flour we have made where when you add acid to it, it changes to this really beautiful purplish red color that you're looking for. If you don't want to have that acidic content, feel free to leave it out, but please be aware that it's not going to have that really cute purplish red color. Yeah, I said it's cute. Look at it. It's adorable. And without further ado, cheers. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't expect to walk away with this one. Wow, that is really tasty. So I didn't expect this to taste the way it does, but it has this peppery flavor that's also slightly sweet from the sugar that we had used. And then you get a hint of that acid from the apple cider vinegar. This is really, really, really tasty. I honestly, I did not expect to have it taste that good. The only other thing that tastes as good is the merch over at chefpk.com where you can pick out one of these really cool shirts. Let me know if you're gonna try this down below. It's really easy to make. My name is Chef PK, get subscribed. And remember, keep playing with your food. Thanks, Grandma. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Ooh, <clears throat> peppery. Ah, wake you up in the morning and do one of these.